Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here with this morning mountain weather update. All right, let's go to radar here. We've got snow. This is our next wave of snow uh, rolling through the Wasatch, heading towards the Tetons and moving through Idaho as we speak. Let me take you to a live cam. So this is up at Solitude ski area and it is coming down up there. I'm thinking three to six inches out of this and it's mainly going to be the first half of today and then it will probably dry out this afternoon. Let me take you to my bullet points here this morning and show you what I'm thinking. So in total we've got three storm systems ahead. The one you see right now and then there are two additional ones behind that and yes the Wasatch is definitely a bullseye when I'm looking at all the totals. I mean we could be looking at three to four feet of grand total snow by the time all this is said and done. You can see the timeline here. I'm not going to go for all, go through all of these Wasatch, Tetons, Colorado, but all three places do have snow in the forecast today and then quite a bit beyond as well. In the Northeast, only light snow on 222. And what's really interesting is what's going to happen down the road. Uh, on or after 1225, 26, 27, 28, Northern Branch is going to get involved and we're going to see a little colder air and a nice merger with a couple of storm systems. So we'll look at all that in this uh, forecast update. I want to go back to water vapor satellite imagery this morning and just show you what's going on here. So on this, your oranges and reds are your drier air aloft, and there's one wave going through the uh, the Intermountain West right now of snowfall. The main low with the trough is still sitting back here, and again, it's taking its time moving in, and I'll draw on the jet. Uh, the subtropical jet is really escorting this thing into California, and eventually the whole storm system will move in. 19, 20, 21, and 22, it'll cross Utah, and then eventually through Colorado, and that's where we're going to get some significant snow accumulations with that. Okay, let me show you what the jet stream is going to look like here. So that's uh, the jet at the close of business today. You can see the dip in the jet, the trough there supporting that storm system rolling into California. Still there tomorrow, and then it starts to make its move. 220, 221 moves through Utah, Colorado, 220, 221, and 222. And there it is by the end of the day on 222. Here comes the next storm system headed towards California. Now watch what happens. Here comes the merger. Northern Branch starts to buckle to the south on or after 1225, and it starts to pick up and um, merge with some of that moisture coming out of California. It'll bring its own batch and its own storm system with it out of the north. So here's 226, and look at that nice west-northwest flow pattern across uh, a lot of the Intermountain West. This could be a significant period as well for snowfall. Wasatch, Tetons, Idaho, central to northern mountains of Colorado. And there's your jet. I mean, look at that thing. That looks quite promising. Um, and that's 1227 end of day. Let's put some precip on it. So there's your wave of snow here by this afternoon um, through the Tetons, Wasatch, central to northern mountains of Colorado, Idaho. That goes away. Here comes the next wave, 219. Um, it really has a trajectory running right through the Wasatch up into the Tetons. A little bit in Colorado. But here comes the main storm system. 221, 222 rolls through the four corners, rolls through Colorado as well with a nice band of snow across I-70 and north on 222. As we roll through the day, it's still there, and then it's gone by 223. Kind of a quiet period there, 223, just waiting. 224. Here it comes. Northern and southern branch merge. Here comes the energy. And look at that. Widespread snow. This is 226, 530 p.m. It's going to be colder. You'll have uh, higher snow ratios. And it's still there. That west-northwest flow is really uh, spitting out the snow here on 1227. And you can see it. There's another area of low pressure coming into the Pacific Northwest, which will, in, which will bring another round of snow down through the Intermountain West beyond. So, I mean, we're looking at three storm systems, solid three, through the period. And obviously, there's another one right there beyond. So we've got, to, got a lot of snow to go here, major snow. All right, here's what I'm seeing. Grand total snow, um, all of today through all of 227. So a solid nine-day period, two to three feet uh, through Tahoe, Mammoth, potentially four feet up around Shasta. And I want to hone in on the Wasatch. Uh, big and little Cottonwood Canyons could easily be looking at three to four feet of, a, of grand total accumulation. A couple of feet at Park City, Deer Valley, Snow Basin. Western and Northwest Colorado, that's where we're going to see the bulk of Colorado snow in that purple shade. Anywhere in purple's over a foot. We could see uh, one, two, two and a half feet of snow in those areas. Less to the south, less in New Mexico. 
Um, one to two feet up in the Teton seems very reasonable. Uh, Pacific Northwest, Washington, Oregon, all looking at one, two, three, maybe four feet of snow. Some nice snow through interior BC and Idaho as well. Let me break it down by period. So all of today through tomorrow. Um, so you've got some snow falling this morning in the Wasatch. You'll get a break. And then snow will come back tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow night. And then it's a very solid period for about three days. But you can see what uh, is going to fall there. Some nice snow through California as well. Period 2, 220 through 222. This will be a big period. Uh, 1 to 2 feet in the Wasatch. Uh, probably 4 to 12 Central and Northern Mountains of Colorado, some higher totals up around Steamboat, Buff Pass, Cameron Pass, um, those preferred areas, flat tops, uh, about 5 to 10 in the, uh, the Sierra. All right, here's period 3. Again, this is kind of like just waiting. This is a quiet period. A little bit of leftover snow in parts of Wyoming, Utah, Colorado. But you can see what's coming down from the north where you see those bigger totals starting. Let's go into that final period. All right, so this is 12. This is 226 through 227. This is the, when the northern branch gets involved, and we're looking at, you know, about a foot for the Tetons, about a foot for the Wasatch, six to 12 in Colorado, and all these numbers would go up on 228. So if we were to run this, if I were to run this through 228, it would go up in a lot of these places. But looking at one to two feet up in the Pacific Northwest, about a foot down through parts of the Sierra, it looks like a promising period. All right, one last stop into the northeast. Again, nothing major here, but some light snow on 222, anywhere from 1 to 2, maybe 3 inches of accumulation. All right, guys, we'll end on the grand total map here. And again, major snow uh, between now and 227. A lot of little elements to consider, a lot of different flow patterns that may... Uh, and develop across the West. It should be a lot of fun. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in here. Always appreciate it, and take care.